Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the channel. I would give you a Jasper cameo, but he's at my feet, uh, unfortunately. So, Saws! I know you all come here just for Jasper, really. And the title of this video has not captured your attention at all. I know that. <laughs> um, rejoice! We're getting a System Shock live action series. No, that's not a joke. The joke part is the rejoice. Um, I think this is actually really bad news. So... I'll go into it for a few reasons. It's the Mortal Kombat writer. Now, uh, Greg Russo. As much as I... You know, I, I liked the Mortal Kombat film that was released. I thought it was uh, campy, popcorn flick fun, right? I can enjoy those kind of films. But, uh, you know, once you go from there, you have to take it a little bit more seriously if, you, if you're going to want to continue it. Like, you can't just keep going with the campiness. And, uh, and that's what they're doing. That's what uh, New Line, I think it is, uh, is doing. They've hired the Moon Knight writer. So hopefully they're going to take it a little bit more seriously now. This one, however, I mean, you know, System Shock does need some... It can't be campy. And also, it's supposed to appear on Binge. Have you heard of Binge? I've not heard of Binge. It's a new online streaming platform thing for gaming things. Great. Yay! Fuck. Like, what a great property going downhill, I guess. So, let's take a look at this. This is over on uh, Deadline. So, Mortal Kombat scribe Greg Russo to adapt System Shock for Binge. Again, never heard of that before. Live action series. Um, so, Greg Russo will bring his knowledge of adapting video games for screen to Binge. His knowledge... Of adapting video games to binge. That knowledge ain't so good at the moment, but never mind. Um, so they've tapped the Mortal Kombat scribe to write and direct. Now, I think this will be interesting um, in terms of revealing whether he's good at anything, right? So if I go to his uh, IMDb, so we go to his IMDb, we take a look, because I don't know what else he's directed. Um, in fact, he has directed nothing. I'm looking at it right now. He has directed absolutely nothing. So as a writer, he did Mortal Kombat. And and, and that's it. And now he's got System Shock uh, and Category 6, which I have no idea what Category 6 is. Um, a disaster movie. Involves a major coastal hurricane. Great. Love it. What a great, what a great concept. Anyway, I don't think this sounds particularly great. Um, he's this is first time directing a TV miniseries, so I think that look, at the end of the day it'll be interesting. Look, he's, he's being given a shot. Hopefully, he doesn't you know butcher it. Uh, but yeah, directing and writing, we'll see. Because it might be, ladies and gents, look, it might be that the director of Mortal Kombat just you know shot it in a way that was a bit campy. We don't know. Um, and again, I enjoyed that film. I thought it was dumb popcorn fun. But I don't want System Shock to be that. I want System Shock to be serious. I want it to be brutal. I want it to be scary. So, hit like, and also, what the, what the fuck is Binge? Set to stream exclusively on Binge, an upcoming gaming entertainment streaming platform. Isn't this weird that we're getting this, like, rise of these kind of, like, shows again? It's almost like mainstream media is like, oh, wait, all those YouTubers talking about games. Uh, are doing it better than what we did. Let's do it. Like, we've got G4, G4 TV. That's come back. Basically just doing what YouTubers have been doing for years. And they're like, oh, we can do that. No, you, you're crap. You are legitimately crap at, at, at that now. Because uh, you inject a gender. Whereas, you know, at least with a YouTuber, you kind of know what they're about before you watch them. Uh, so anyway, so it's this new entertainment gaming streaming platform. Uh, System Shock is based on Night Dives Studios' uh, action video game franchise. I'm pretty certain there's another one coming up soon. I swear I've seen that on Steam. Um, so the original System Shock plunges players into Citadel Station in the year 2072, where an unnamed hacker wakes from a coma, only to be only to be confronted by murderous robots, killer cyborgs, malicious mutants, and a malevolent AI named Shodan. Uh, that seeks to control Earth. 
Uh, and this is the statement, anyway, from Greg. So he says, I'm honoured to have the opportunity to work alongside the fantastic team at Binge and Night Dive Studios. So it sounds like they are working with the game studio, so maybe that's positive, uh, to bring the iconic System Shock franchise to life. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to make my directorial debut, and I finally found it. Well, we're all eyes are going to be on this, mate. And any, If you butcher this, son, people are not going to forgive you. Um, so I added uh, Binge Chief Content Officer Alan... Ungar, great name. Greg is a superbly talented screenwriter. He's done one other thing, you idiot. How do you know he's talented? He's done one other thing. What? Let's all smell his fart, shall we? Anyway, Greg is a su superbly talented screenwriter who possesses an unmatched knowledge and passion for gaming. Okay. Uh, his artistic approach to storytelling and his deep understanding... Artistic approach? Look, I like Mortal Kombat, but I'm not going to sit here and say that it was artistic. It was not artistic. Uh, artistic, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't say it was artistic. At all. I would not say that was artistic. So anyway, artistic approach to storytelling... And his deep understanding of the source material will undoubtedly get fans excited uh, about this new franchise. Probably not. Uh, we're thrilled to be bringing him on board and can't wait to share his vision uh, with audiences worldwide. Mm. So Russo will also executive produce alongside the game studio Night Dive. Uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen Kick uh, and Larry Kupperman uh, and Unger will produce as well. So in addition to Mortal Kombat, Russo has adapted a number of video games into films and televisions. Uh, including Space Invaders for New Line uh, and Warner Brothers uh, and Saints Row for director Gary uh, F. Gary Gray. Has he? Not from what his IMDb says. He's done none of that. Huh. Maybe he's got writing credits then. Interesting, because he does. He's apparently he's known for Death Note 2 as well, Space Invaders. Has he done... I don't think that's been released, has it? Yeah, so, again, we're talking about things which haven't even been released. Oh, for fuck's sake. How can you How can you actually say that with a straight face? Jesus, these people. I knew I wasn't losing my mind. So he's not done anything. Deadline? How... Mate, Deadline. How misleading do you want to be? How misleading do you want to be? In addition to Mortal Kombat, Russo has adapted... A number of video games into film and television, including Space Invaders. It's not been it's not been adapted yet. It's in development. He hasn't done that. And Saints Row, again, in development. What is he on about? What is Deadline Smoking? Wow, talk about misleading. Wow, mainstream media. Can you get any worse? You're trying to push this guy hard. Why? Some weird stuff going on there. That's really strange. Anyway, there you go, ladies and gents. System Shock live action series for binge.com. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. I don't like the sound of this. I uh, just said straight up from the top. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you're new here, do it. Subscribe. Thanks so much, though, ladies and gents. Hope you have a great day. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Reviews. Take care.